Juicy tender roast chicken with addicting crispy skin is easier than you may have thought. You'll love this perfect roast chicken. Stick around and I'm going to show you how to prevent dry overcooked chicken breast and many other tips for success. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Let's get cooking. Hey, hey, welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you the simplest way to roast a whole chicken. I know I remember back in the day, I used to get intimidated to roast a whole chicken, but it's super easy and simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it. To start off, we're gonna dry the chicken thoroughly so that the oil and seasoning will stick to the skin. And it's very important, otherwise your oil and seasoning will fall right off. Dry it really nice on all sides. Before you start, make sure to bring out the bird uh, about one hour before you start cooking so that the chicken can come to room temperature. It will cook evenly that way. And I'm preheating my oven right now. So to season the chicken, I'm going to use olive oil, uh, salt, and salt-free chicken seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you like. I'm using lemon pepper seasoning right now. You can use butter for oiling, but I like to use olive oil on a regular days. But keep in mind, um, the butter makes the skin brown better. So you can use a mixture of butter and olive oil. Make sure to oil it really well everywhere. It helps to brown the skin beautifully. Don't forget to salt in the inside as well. The chicken is seasoned nicely. And now I'm, we're going to tie the legs so that it cooks evenly. We just need a twine. I'm going to show you how to, super easy way to tie the legs. So we'll go ahead and tie this on one leg. Like so. Make sure to leave a little bit string here and then we'll pull it forward or pull the pull the legs together and then wrap the twine around it. Find the other end that we left and just tie it. That's it. And I'm going to snip this off. Now we're going to transfer the bird onto a baking dish. I like to use this dish because I can throw in vegetables like carrots and potatoes. And I have a little piece of parchment paper on the bottom because we're going to cook the chicken rest side down and we don't want the breast skin get stuck on the bottom. That's why we put, it, put the little parchment paper. And halfway through, we're gonna flip the bird uh, breast side up and then we'll take the parchment paper out. Make sure to have the parchment paper right underneath the chicken breast. And then into the oven it goes. And now we wait for the chicken. Meanwhile, peel some carrots and potatoes if you desire and Chop them up. Chicken is ready. Look at this deliciousness. Is it good? George. Okay. Get the full recipe for this whole roast chicken on sweetandsavory by Thank you.